to show that kind of accuracy, I'd like to move to the screen. These are some graphs taken on myself when I was graphed. The two on the right were taken in January of 2001. These are two cervical graphs. I will overlay them to show you the kind of repeatability that is required in order to see if the body is locked in a temperature pattern that is not responding to the environmental changes. This, these two lines represent two graphs taken on that day on the right side of my spine. These were read by the right barrel of the scanner. These were read by the left barrel of the scanner. The center graph is what you would have received or seen with the traditional thermocouple device that can only measure differences. So this is the difference in temperature from left to right. If we go back now and go back, go, let's say, I'm sorry, go forward to 2011 and bring up these two graphs as well. Okay, these were from 2011. These are the newer graphs. Unfortunately, and we'll, we'll bring them all up together and you'll see, unfortunately, on that day in 2011 and in, in January, March, April, and on that day back in 2001, I am in pattern, which is not good. We'll bring back, I should be able to overlay. I'm sorry. I'll bring up one from each. Okay, this is one graph taken in 2011 and one graph taken in January back in 2001. And it's almost uncanny how the body can repeat its distress when it is subluxated, these shapes are, I can, I can bring this over and, and overlay them. Uh, I was much colder on that day, which is why I had to move them, move them over. But when someone's in pattern and you graph them and compare graphs, it is very, very easy to have excellent feedback that they are in a uh, subluxated state. And this is why the scanner is more important clinically, as valuable as the tool it is for doing screenings and explaining chiropractic, clinically the scanner is essential for knowing when and when not, a pa when to adjust and when not to adjust, when a patient is stuck in that sympathetic hyper state or when they're clear. So I thank you for your time.